Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is VMware HCI and specifically before going to start about VMware HCI, we should understand what is hyper converged infrastructure in short form HCI and how to build an HCI infrastructure on an existing vSphere with a click and what are the benefits of VMware HCI? Okay, let's start with the first question. So HCI, before going to learn HCI, we need to understand how the traditional architecture earlier. So with the traditional data center infrastructure, we have a servers and we also have a storage connected with fiber channel switch and network devices. All are here separated. It's work like a siloed environment in a traditional infrastructure. Suppose the next one is converged infrastructure. Converged infrastructure means instead of separate network switch and fiber channel switch, we are using a normal network switch. This network switch is converged and it supports for a normal network connectivity and as well as it will help you to access a internet SCSI storage. Internet SCSI means it will no need a fiber channel switch. We can use a normal existing switch. It will also support for a storage access and that is called converged and later on we have a concept called hyper converged infrastructure that means the same converged infrastructure we are using a hypervisors that hypervisor can be any of the principal vendor suppose vmware have a hypervisor name is esxi and for nutanix have acropolis hypervisor and microsoft have hypervisor name is hyper-v Okay, so any principal vendor hypervisor that is mainly for a HCI is a software defined that combined computing, storage, networking, and virtualization into a simple building blocks and making IT infrastructure easier to procure, deploy, manage, and scale. Scale means we even the if you want to scale up or scale out, always it is pretty simple, not difficult as a traditional infrastructure. And HCI solutions are available in the form of trunky appliance. Some of the vendors, they are providing a trunky appliances like HPE, Simplivity, and also Nutanix also providing the HCI solution boxes. Or you can use a software that run on your hardware from our preferred vendors like we can use preferred vendors VMware or Nutanix or Microsoft any vendor but this session I'm just explaining about the VMware HCI but this is a basic point so if you see the hyper converged it combines the second point if you noticed HCI is a software defined that combines computing and storage when we combine the server with storage is and also along with our hypervisor that is nothing but a hyper converged infrastructure all our infrastructure components are combined in a hca solution okay now let's talk about how to build an hca infrastructure on an existing vSphere with a click okay so let's say in our existing vSphere infrastructure, as we know, we require your physical servers, like for example, HPE DL380 servers. On top of the physical servers, we are installing the ESXA operating system. In other words, we call it as vSphere. And to manage multiple ESXA hosts, we are using a vCenter server. That is our existing vSphere infrastructure. When it comes to the storage infrastructure, as we know, to manage our storage infrastructure, either we should have a storage devices like HDD and SDD devices, and also to connect the all our storage devices, we require a fiber channel switch. So this is our storage infrastructure. But if you want to combine server with the storage, the procedure is first we have to activate the virtual SAN license in vSphere. When you activate this license, vSAN license, within our vCenter server, when you log into the vCenter server, we can create a multiple clusters. If you select any cluster, right click the cluster, we have the option for HA, DRS, and also we have an option to enable virtual SAN. When you enable virtual SAN with a single click, it will what it will do is whatever the hard drive the storage is available in our servers that will combine all the disk groups and make it as a one single 
data store. So when we enable this one, so this server and storage both are combined. So it will become as vSphere is configured as virtual SAN because in our cluster level, we enabled vSAN. So whatever the storage devices we have, all these disks are part of a data virtual SAN data store now. And the management still the vCenter server management and we can configure multiple virtual machine. We can create a content library and we can also configure for a Kubernetes solutions like which is vSphere with Tanju. Same like how we added vSAN license, even in the vSphere, vSphere environment, if we add a Tanju license like Tanju basic, Tanju standard advanced licenses based on the customer requirement, within our vSphere HCI solution, it will also allow you to support to configure a Tanju Kubernetes clusters in short form TKC. So we can configure multiple TKCs. So within this hyper converged infrastructure solution, we are combined server with storage and we can also configure not only for a virtual machine, we can all it is also supported for a cloud native applications, which is modern applications, container applications. For containerized application orchestration, we are using a Kubernetes that is enterprise grade Kubernetes. In other words, Tanju Kubernetes cluster. Okay, and with this solution, we have a main key benefits are ideal for journalist teams, common management plane for storage and compute. For storage and compute, our common management plane is vCenter server and minimal training. Even for a vSphere administrator, there is no need additional training. It's just minimal understanding. So use familiar of vCenter server and vSphere web client. We can easily understand the solution, HCI solution. And vSAN is a native feature in the vSphere hypervisor and efficient resource utilization and consistent performance. And it's already proven uh, officially certified. VMware is one of the leading provider of HCI solution, hyper converged infrastructure solution. Now let's talk about what are the benefits of VMware HCI. So the main key benefits includes IT agility to support the business and OPEX reduction. That means operational expenditure is reduced. Whatever the storage administrator previously doing the storage zoning and learn masking and all that portion is completely reduced now with this HCA solution and the CAPEX reduction. CAPEX means capital expenditure reduction. Suppose in our storage box level, we have to procure a storage box, fiber channels, which has fiber cables. There was so much infrastructure is needed. But when you plan to move from your storage solutions to the HCI solution, there is a capital expenditure is reduced. I will show you one example in the next slide. And also not only for these two benefits and future proof the infrastructure. Even in the future, if you want to enhance your HCI solution to, if you want to make it as a private cloud solution, or if you want to move your HCI solution to, private cloud solution means we need to plan to implement a VMware Cloud Foundation solution. Either VCF solution, or if you want to do any of the automation, or if you want to plan to implement a container native applications like uh, Tanju Kubernetes cluster, this solution is compatible. Okay, now let me explain you the VMware HCI infrastructure saving the capex reduction. One example I, I'm going to show you. So let's say we in our normal traditional environment, we have a SAN storage and we, to connect to the SAN storage, we need a SAN switches, which is fiber channel switches. And all these switches are also connected to the servers. So server will access the switch uh, via switch. It will access the storage. And we also have a some flash storage devices within our environment. OK, like we should maintain a primary storage and secondary storage. Normally, primary storage for a production data and secondary storage we can use for a backup and also the archive data. So this is our complete one rack size of infrastructure equipment we needed. Suppose this infrastructure, if I plan to move it from VMware as traditional to VMware HCI solution, so we no need this much equipment, we just need a four two u servers two unit servers so within these four servers what is our infrastructure benefit is the rack space is saved instead of using the full rack size component we just need a four u that means four into two eight so instead of 30 unit rack we can reduce our rack space to eight unit and the power and cooling consumption also saved and reduction of cable complexity even infrastructure cost also reduce 
that is the main benefit so that point only i mention as a capex reduction and not only capex reduction even for operational also it's a easy management okay with this vmware hyper converged infrastructure solution and i also talk about vmware cloud foundation the topic i will cover in the later session what is importance of vmware vcf vmware cloud foundation okay so that's it thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the gnan cloud garage channel and if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now